Talking about knowing nothing. Is anybody else fed up? Is anybody else fed up? Is anybody else fed up to the core, to the core of this particular word? Because I swear to God, if I hear one more person in the world utter this bloody word, I'm going to flip my bloody lid. You see how I do my makeup for work? Very demure, very mindful. I don't come to work with a green cut crease. I don't look like a clown when I go to work. I don't do too much. I'm very mindful while I'm at work. See how I look very presentable? The way I came to the interview is the way I go to the job. A lot of you girls go to the interview looking like Marge Simpson and go to the job looking like Patty and Selma. Not demure. I'm very modest. I'm very mindful. You see my shirt? Only a little chichi out, not my chocho. Be mindful of why they hired you. Here's your reality check, diva. What's the name you'd like me to make it out to? So I'm fed up of the word demure already. The story of it is pretty nice. It's pretty inspirational. It's pretty heartwarming. This particular person had become viral on TikTok for using this word demure. I guess it's maybe a reaction to maybe Brat Summer because Brat is all about being loud and garish and out there and just you know indulging in all your inhibitions and putting your tatas out there and your vj out there sucking and fucking sniffing whoring all around the world have a good fun so maybe demure is like a reaction to it it's almost like it's almost like um it's almost like a synth a synthesized version a rounding up of like quiet luxury right remember whenever we talk about quiet luxury which just basically meant wearing expensive clothes but just in like you know monotone colors maybe demure kind of synthesizes that into one word so i understand why people are like gravitating towards it because everything is garish everything is 2000 era coded von dutch bedazzlements short skirts shiny belt shiny shoes big pants like, everything is loud right everything is loud so demure and i also like the fact that the person who's saying demure is not very demure this person's not very petite so that's where it makes it funny right and it's like a very um, kind of sarcastic dry cadence about it the person themselves is big as fuck so that kind of adds to the kind of laughability and humor of it the funny side of the story is that when you scratch underneath the surface you find out that this person's having a going through a transition getting some you know gender reassignment surgery and whatever it may be and through this little skit and through this sketch through this persona through a social media account this person's been able to afford the surgery that's going to allow them to be themselves amazing great to see round of applause but the annoying thing about it is that this word has now been bastardized and destroyed so much it's been destroyed and bastardized so bloody 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 much that now that i'm fucking over it i'm absolutely over the word and i don't want to hear it anymore and that's a really sad thing. The woman didn't get even a chance to really enjoy the, the to, to just enjoy the, the feeling around it and everybody kind of hyping it up because now look at what we have. Look at the person we have. Look at the person we have now in media who's flipping using that word. This person could not be further from demure and it's gone so quick and it feels like it only started the other day. It feels like it started like, I don't know, maybe like two weeks ago or maybe at most a month ago, but already the word has been bastardized, has been rinsed, has been beat like a dead horse and I'm over See it. See how I do this when I drink from the bottle? Very demure. Look at that. You got J-Lo, one of the most, un again, I love J-Lo. She got some good tunes. She's a decent enough actress, but she's not very cool. I wouldn't say J-Lo's cool. And now you have one of the most uncoolest people in the world using the word. It's over. It's over. See how I do this when I drink from the bottle? Very demure. Very mindful. I will just chug it. I just don't. She's so rich, right? Jennifer Lopez is so rich. She's so bougie. She's such a diva. Even the way she drinks water or juice out of a bottle doesn't look natural. She probably has never drunken a drink. She probably never has. She probably hasn't drunk a drink out of a bottle in maybe more than a decade. Even more. <laughs> everything she drinks is out of a flute a glass a straw something or maybe she gets you know her booze fucking injected into her like an iv but she's never probably had to open her own bottle like you and i pause and had to chug a fucking coca-cola on the way to work she doesn't do that look how she's fucking drinking the water that's somebody or the juice sorry that's somebody who hasn't drunk out of a bottle in a very 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 long time you know she doesn't fucking drink out of a bottle she drinks using maybe some like Hermes straw, 
or like a Tiffany straw. That's what she's got. She's got a Tiffany straw or a Swarovski straw, right? Or a Mugler straw, right? That's what she's got at home. Or a Bogari straw. There's no way that she's strawing. No way that she's drinking out of some regular fucking straw. Definitely not a paper straw, by the way, because she don't care about the environment. She cares about Gaza, thank God, but she doesn't care about the environment. One more time. See how I do this when I drink from the bottle? Very demure. We have all three. Very mindful. I would just chug it. I just don't. Just like all the way down, just little, little by little. Very elegant, swelling it, demure, mindful. So weird, isn't it? So weird how quickly this word has been destroyed, debastardized, and devoured and there's even an article about it in the new york times just how demure are you a tiktok trend has birthed a new life into a busty word let's read the article if you open tiktok this week and felt that suddenly everyone was using the word demure out of nowhere you're not alone it took one week for this to blow up one week this is again further proof that most of us won't become rich but if you do want to become rich <coughs> the best way to do it nowadays not to get a property ladder because it's too expensive the best way to become rich nowadays, the best way to become rich and to quit your nine to five is to become a star on social media. But to become a star on social media, you have to record yourself. You have to put yourself online, which most people probably aren't comfortable with because you open yourself up to like scrutiny and just people looking at you a certain way. So it takes a lot of courage to do so. And also there's no guarantee it's going to work. There are plenty of people out there recording fucking videos, dancing in front of a Tesco's and no one's fucking watching them. So there's that pressure, but it's, it actually is a good way to kind of go from, you know, poverty stricken to financially um, comfortable. So let's actually read the article. Your morning coffee with just a little half and half demure. The way you sit down gracefully on the subway, very demure. The way you flush your teeth after lunch in the office bathroom before returning to your cubicle, absolutely, totally demure. Seemingly overnight, an adjective usually reserved for a reserved woman has become the semi-ironic word du jour on social media. On August 2nd, a TikTok creator who goes by the name Jules Lebron, which is funny because people, people were assuming incorrectly that Lebron James was using the word but it actually was a transgender person called Jules Lebrun. Fucking hilarious. Posted the video with tips about managing makeup and mustache sweat and being demure. Later that day, she posted another video, which has been viewed 4 million times, offering tips on how to be demure at work. Very demure, very mindful, she says, explaining her perfume, clothing, and hairstyle choices for the workplace. Miss Lebron has since posted dozens more of videos discussing how to be demure in all sorts of situations, like nail salons, hotels, and drag shows. Miss Lebron, who did not respond to requests for comment, well done, by the way, Miss Lebron, well done. Don't ever talk to these fucking publications. Just do your thing. Don't go on record for nothing. Do your thing. Work up to a fucking heaven. Mark Jacobs collab. Vetmar. Um, Saint Laurent. I don't know whoever else. Uh, Elena Velez. One of these kind of, you know, party girl kind of brands. Even more, more, more low is probably low, too low. You know, there's brands you can aim for. Go, you know, get an editorial in Interview Magazine. Um, do a spread in Perfect Magazine. That's what you should be aiming for. Don't give your comment willy-nilly to fucking New York Times. Fuck that shit. Never respond to comment. Never, ever respond to comment. So big up Mr. Bron, who did not respond to comment, is one of the several trans creators on TikTok who use uh, playfully the word demure in recent videos has helped the word to catch on with other users. There has been so many demure divas who have come before me, says Mr. Bron, said in a video naming two fellow content creators, as well as Venus Extravaganza, a trans performer who featured prominently in influential documentary Paris is Burning. On TikTok, the word is spread far beyond its original roots, um, for the viral term has become a fodder for brand brands like the restaurant chain Chili's and the New York City Department of Sanitations, which posted Instagram with the city's new official garbage bins were, you know what, demure. Members of the Styles desk gathered um, to discuss how anyone and everyone, it seems, can be demure. Madison Malon Kircher. Let's start with a big question in everyone's mind. What exactly does demure mean to the comment? Uh, what does demure mean in the moment? Um, this person says, every few weeks, a new word starts getting repeated ad nauseum online in ways that only a sort of relate to its original definition. Last week, the word was brat. This week is basically the exact opposite. It's demure, which I think is nice in terms of just thinking about stuff, right? Like the word brat did mean one thing because I think nowadays there's probably, there's probably, there's probably people online who are probably way too old to be using the word brat. You know, you've got kids, you've got responsibilities, you have pets. You look after family members who are ill. You probably are never going to have a brat summer ever again in your life. 
the brats, the, your brat era has left. But it is nice to live vicariously through someone like a Charlie XCX and the girls in and around her. But you're too old for that. So leave that alone. So maybe you should be saying the word demure because that does represent or reflect where you are in life more. But I still think there's a utility. There's a benefit to just not partaking in any of this shit. Just seeing it and just continue scrolling by it. Because none of this shit pays for anything in your life. None of this shit puts a roof over your head. None of this shit puts food in your belly. None of this shit keeps you warm. None of this shit does anything really in life. It's just a distraction from the actual things that are going on in the world you have to pay attention to. Because who gives a fuck about Demure? Who gives a fuck about the creator? No one, really in the grand scheme of things. And outside of this little social media bubble, like I guarantee if you went to somebody at work that you worked with or you just asked a stranger on the pla on a, on a fucking, you know, on the train or the bus on the way to work, hey, have you heard of this whole Demure thing? Most people will say no. It's honestly such a niche internet thing but it sounds so loud to all of us because we keep seeing it on our feed because we follow the same type of person but just they live in different places and have different skin tone colors and shit and whatever but they're the same person so they all regurgitate the same news so they all keep getting fed the same shits and we think everyone is saying it it's like everyone isn't saying it this is really niche news that most people don't give a fucking fuck about and I'm actually angry. The more that I'm covering this, the more that I'm talking about this, I'm getting pissed off. <laughs> it's filling me with rage because I, I shouldn't even know about this, but I'm online so much. I'm terminally online. I get fucking assaulted with news that I shouldn't be assaulted with. But it's my fault. As the Joker Wilnick book title says, extreme ownership. I take ownership that I'm exposing myself to these bits of information. So I can't be mad at Jules LeBron. I can't be mad at the other Div, um, d demure divas out there the dds i can't be mad at them for doing what they're doing i shouldn't know they should do what they do and we should go that way but here we are another person says someone who is demure is typically res yo don't def don't tell me the definition of demure i'm not dumb i graduated high school i know what the fucking word means skip i've also seen people use the word to describe manners their cleaning habits and setting boundaries with people this i champion this i champion because i'm not sure about you but the more I've been on social media and the more that I started to listen to what people say and I've started to follow certain content creators, certain commenters, I started to see and notice a lot of people don't shower or bathe. I was listening to an interview recently the other day with the artist BWD, BD, BD, how do you pronounce her name? Bido Bido, Bido Bide, this little, this little indie singer who everybody's a fan of. And she was talking in an interview and I swear to God, she mentioned that she showers a few times a week. And I think the interviewer even asked something like, but yeah, you obviously you remove your makeup every day though, right? Like, and it was like, she, was, she, didn't really, she wasn't really clear. And I was like, bro, I, even all these young starlets nowadays, like it's just become like a trend. People just don't shower that much. So there are people out there who aren't cleaning their pussies on a daily basis, aren't cleaning under their armpits, aren't cleaning behind their fucking knees. But they're successful, well-regarded, super attractive, popular, cool artist. I'm like, you know what? Maybe if this word has a utility in culture, maybe if it forces people to actually embody demure, because it's same with brat. When brat was the word, everyone was embracing the brat. Everyone was embracing the hedonistic, garbage, indie sleaze side of themselves. So maybe if this demure word becomes popular and people start to use it in their everyday lexicon, maybe it will encourage people to fucking jump in the shower and wash their fucking pussies. Because as a girl, showering a few times a week is inexcusable. It's inexcusable for guys. But I did remember seeing a quote from somebody. I forgot where it was. It might have been on social media. I remember seeing a quote from somebody where they said something like, if you speak to... Um, if you speak to uh, nurses, um, correctional officers who worked in prisons, they all say they prefer to work in men's prisons than women's prisons. They all say women's prisons smell crazy. Correctional officers, guards, nurses all say working in a women's prison will make you nauseous. Allegedly, women's hygiene overall is worse than boys. It doesn't seem like that because girls always talk about how guys are stinky and guys can be stinky. But allegedly men's prisons are way cleaner the guys in there are way cleanier or you know have better hygiene you know um have better hygiene whatever than the women do so maybe this is what we're seeing 
But I remember looking, I was thinking, this girl's like 20 something, young, popping, doing her thing. She's like, yeah, I shower a few times a week. A few times a week. Are you sure? God almighty. So maybe we should be happy that demure is coming back and becoming like a big word because maybe you'll encourage people to start fucking showering. Another one says, someone who's mindful, perhaps even even cutesy, um, some of these terms bring to mind another word, which is wholesome. What makes something demure versus wholesome? Uh, wholesome. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I guess I guess wholesome is like the straight version of demure, isn't it? Right. The gays have demure. The straights have wholesome. Maybe that's what it's it. But either way, I'm happy for the creator, Jules LeBron. Really happy for them because, again, like I said, inspiring, um, motivating, heartwarming story. But I'm fucking over the word. I want it to die. I want it to die. I want it to die, 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 die. But again, what do I know? Absolutely nothing. <laughs>